Hello and welcome to Morris Park. I'm Clyde Morris. Well, I started getting some of my uh, plants out here. I kind of made me a new shelf next to my wood pile. I'm getting some of my cactus and euphorbias on out in the yard. See over there, I got some of my larger ones out. I haven't got them, got them quite filled in yet. My great big euphorbia Evans VI tree. Love this tree, it's uh, over 40 years old. Probably about 42, I would say. Really nice tree trunk with bark and everything. <clears throat> but yeah, I started to get some of these out. Now you're probably wondering what that sound is out here. <laughs> we are having uh, one of those phenomenons of the 17-year cicadas. Some call them the 17-year locust. There are two varieties usually that come. There are 17-year ones and 13-year ones. <clears throat> they spend most of their time living in the ground during the uh, years. The uh, <clears throat> years that they're underground, they live off of tree roots. And just a thin amount of fluid that comes from these tree roots. And then, when they're ready to hatch, whether the 17-year or the 13-year, they all come out at once, and that's what you're hearing. Millions of cicadas right now. Here you are. This is what all the noise is about. And you can see on the underside of these leaves, <laughs> I had one just land on my face. <clears throat> on the underside of these leaves are the empty shells from where they crawled out of the ground. They crawl up the tree. And they split these shells. As you can see here. And then this is the adult form. Not getting a very good focus here. Another one here. <laughs> They're just all over the tree here. What they'll do, after they've bred, they will lay eggs within the branches of the trees. Now for some of the smaller branches, this isn't too good because it may kill off some of the smaller branches. But when the eggs hatch, the babies crawl out from the branches, fall to the ground, dig into the ground, and, and go for another 17-year cycle. And 17 years from now, they'll all hatch out again. Now, you do get odd number ones that uh, bloom on, that not bloom, but uh, hatch out in odd years. See if I can catch one. They hatch out on odd years. And so there's always some cicadas every summer, but not to what you're hearing right now. You hear them in the background a little bit, but these things really are quite noisy. You just have to be here to really experience how loud they are. So the little shells up here, so the dead shells, there's nothing in it. Another one. And these are just all over the trees. Yeah, they're just everywhere. Now the birds and, and reptiles and amphibians and such, raccoons and all, really love these things. This is kind of a food boom for all these guys. And to tell you the truth, my uh, geckos actually like them a lot too. <laughs> so yeah, millions of these guys. And it is very noisy here today. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you I was getting some of my plants out and show you these little guys while we have them out here. 
<laughs> this is Clyde Morris from the very noisy Morris Park. Hope you all have a great day. Take care.